Hey everyone, Tzilla here. Welcome back to my channel. How are y'all doing? Today I'm going to be doing a toy review on the Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong. Right here we have Kong with the Battle Axe and we have Godzilla with the Heat Ray. So yeah, today we're going to be taking a look at these guys. I'm just kidding with you guys. Let's get these guys out of the way. We're not taking a look at these guys. We're going to be taking a look at these guys. We're going to be taking a look at these two Mega figures. We have Mega Punching Kong. We have Mega Heat Ray Godzilla. Woo! And they're big. Let's take a look at Kong first. Here's Kong in his box. And as you can see, Kong's looking really cool if I do stick to myself. I prefer these two Mega figures over the Battle War because the Battle War, I'm not really a big fan of the Battle War. I'm more of these guys. I like big figures. These guys are really cool. And as you can see, Kong's looking really cool. And you got a little soldier right there. If you look at that, that's really cool. Comes with soldier, minifigure. And right here you have the battle axe. And as you can see, the battle axe is nicely detailed. And I really like this one. Much better than the six inch one. But yeah, that's really cool. And right here you have Blockbuster movie, Godzilla vs. Kong. And right here you have Mega Punching Kong with lights and sound. I'll show you a little bit later. Right now let's just get to the box. And right here here's the gimmick. Twist body for battle action. That's the box. And the back side. And here's the prototype. And here's Kong holding his battle axe which is really really cool. Glowing eyes and real battle sound. So yeah pretty cool. And here's the soldier. Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster's war rages on the surface and deep within our world as the spectacular secret realm of the titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. Godzilla is going to have the same text on the back. And yeah, that's the box. And next, let's look at Godzilla, my favorite monster. And right here, as you can see, Godzilla's looking really cool. So yeah, the detail is really, really nice on this figure. I really like the sculpting, like always. And Godzilla, he also comes with a mini soldier, so that's really nice. And here is his accessory, which is the atomic breath. And here's his tail. All you have to do is attach it, and that's pretty much it. I'll take care of that later. And right here is the button, so if you want him to roar, you can click on that. His eyes and his dorsal fins will glow. So yeah, pretty cool. I'll show you the gimmick later. Right here you have Mega Heat Ray Godzilla with lights and sound. And right here, here is the atomic breath that he has. And onto the back side. And here's the shot of the prototype. And as you can see, it looks really, really cool. Power up, Heat Ray, lights, and sound. And here's the soldier. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And right here you got the text. So yeah, pretty cool. Alright, which figure to review first? First, I'm gonna go with Godzilla. My favorite monster. Kong will do him later. Alright, now let's get this bad boy out of the box. And here he is guys, and as you can see, whoa, he's pretty big. Woo! Look at this guy. He's gigantic. So yeah, 
I'm ready to talk about him. So anyways, let's get to the review. So yeah, detail like always, Godzilla is really, really nice. I like how they sculpted the head. I like how they sculpted the teeth. I mean, the teeth, they could be a little bit better, but to me, they look okay. I like the shark gales. I like the spikes, and I like the dorsal fins. And all the way here, the dorsal fins are made out of translucent. But the spikes on the tail, they're not translucent, but on the back, they are. All except for the neck, right here. And that's pretty much it. And so yeah, detail's really nice. I like the skin. You got the scales everywhere. And the chest is nicely sculpted. And the arms. And the claws. They're nicely detailed. Toenails are nicely detailed. And the tail as well. And the tail, in my opinion, looks really, really small. I kind of wish they made the tail more longer. Like right about here. So yeah, but overall it still looks good and for paint job, paint job is really nice on this figure. I mean, he's more of a grayish color and on the spines he's more blue. And the toenails are black and so are the nails on the claws. And the teeth are painted and the tongue as well, which is pink, so yeah. Now when it comes to Godzilla's articulation, the arms can move. They can move around like this. You can have him move in his arm like this. And the hands can also move 360. And the legs can move. It's a little bit stiff, but you just have to force it. Feet can move just a little bit. Last, the tail can move 360. When you get this guy out of the box, you have to attach his tail. When I got him out of the box, I didn't really have to use a hair dryer. I just had to move the tail like this in order to get in, and it worked. So yeah. So that's nine points for articulation. And Godzilla has one accessory, not really an accessory, but he has one minifigure, and that's the soldier and I really like the detail the soldier looks really really nice focus focus come on focus please focus please focus detail on the soldier is really nice I don't know how playmates did it but they did really nice and here's a comparison with Godzilla come on focus Soldier is really small, Godzilla is really big. That is one big monster. Look at that. Dang. And Godzilla also has a gimmick, and he also comes with the atomic breath. As you can see, it looks really, really cool. Let's give it a try. So if you want to put on Godzilla's atomic breath, all you have to do is put it in his mouth. And once you put it in his mouth, Godzilla will shoot the atomic breath out of his mouth. If you push the button right here, Godzilla will open his mouth and fire his atomic breath and Godzilla will roar and his spines will glow. All right? Oh yeah, and his eyes. In three, two, one. See? That was pretty cool. I have to admit, I like this Godzilla. One more. All right. You know what to do. For the most part, Godzilla's gonna have two roars, just like we heard the first one and the second one. That's two. And so yeah, that was pretty cool guys. Sound effects, accessory, minifigure, that's about it. Let's go on a size comparison. All right, here he is with two legendary Godzillas. Godzilla 2019 made by Jack Specific and we have the giant Godzilla, also made from Playmates. If you have one of these two, 
if you have Jack Pacific or Giant Godzilla, just to give you a comparison how big this guy is. Next, we have the Bandai King series, Godzilla 2019, and we have the Atomic Roar, Godzilla 2014. So yeah, again, he's taller. These two are very small. I mean, the Atomic Roar Godzilla, he's much taller than the 2019 Godzilla. Next, we have the Skull Crawler, and we have the Heat Ray Godzilla. And for Jack Pacific, we have King Ghidorah and Rodan. Again, just to give you a comparison how big this guy is, and he's pretty big. And last, here he is compared to the Mega Punching Kong. And here they are together, and they look really, really cool. We are finished with this review. Detail is good, articulation is good, sizing in my opinion is pretty good. For the most part, I'm going to give this Mega figure a 29 out of 29. This is probably the best Godzilla figure. Mega Heat Ray Godzilla. And what can I say? I definitely recommend this guy to you. Pick him up. Just so you know, find him at your local Walmart. That's where I got mine. So yeah, that's my review and I hope you enjoy it. Be safe. Take care. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. This is T-Zilla.